Go ahead. All right, this video is, made, is being made to show how to convert the GFD85 GE, a brand new front load dryer from natural gas to propane. And I did, I did one of these about an hour ago and it's quite the process. Uh, it's a little bit harder and there's no videos that I can find on how to do it. Um, first thing you have to do is take off this control panel. And the only way to do it, there's one little, some plastic insert right here on the left hand side that has to be popped off. And there's a quarter inch screw underneath it. This screw is different from most of the screws in this unit because it's plastic to plastic. So you may want to separate it so it doesn't go back in somewhere else. So that was it. Um, I'm put all my screws in this. The parts right there. Okay, after you do that, this piece slides off and lifts off. Then you have two more quarter inch screws behind it. One, two. Once those are off, the whole front kind of lifts out and then slides to the right. Then it's basically off as much as you need it to be. You can take the top off if you take these four screws off, or you can take the front off if you take these ones off. To change the, the propane, to change the orifice in it, you have to take off the front. I think we're going to take the door off also. So. And once you take the screws off, just lift the door off. So it has some clips on it that kind of hold it in place. Set this to the side. If you're going to reverse the door, you have to take the whole bezel off and then swap around your hinge side to your clip side. It's pretty easy. Screws there. Then you have to take the rest of these off. So you have four torques. I think they're a T20. The only tool I really had was the 11-in-1 Klein. It fits. Side. I think it's a T25. All right, the bottom actually just sets on, so once the top screws are off, you can just lift it. lifts off and you have the door close switch that has a pin that just depresses and pulls right off set it off to the side all right from here you can get into the gas burner and assembly when i did the last one i took these two bottom screws off and tried to pull the whole thing out but there's the wires are all in it really hard to get it out so right now I'm going to try to take just the ones that hold the gas valve to the bracket off in hopes that I can pull it 
you will have to probably undo the screw in the back that holds the gas line in place. This is the bracket you take off the back side. It just holds the gas line. Let's see if my drill is small enough to fit in here. Plug some of these. So the gas valve itself has two Molex plugs. One's a three prong, one's a two prong. And then hopefully it can move out of the way enough. This harness also connects to the igniter. If you ever have to change the igniter, pull that pin, unscrew it, and pull it out. Right, I'm gonna try to get in here. So we're gonna use backup. And I think I have a stubby one to get to the other ones. A little bit too long. I think there's three total that you have to undo. I'm gonna go grab my stuffy one. Pause it. Uh, just keep going. Stubby, quick change, quarter inch. Just... And you can see my bald head. I part about this is you can't get no. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Maybe a quarter inch open end wrench would help. That way you can get a little bit of torque on it. Being this tight in there, just hard to move. Trust me, this looks painful, but the other way taking is, it the other way. The other way is even worse. worse. And this may work, may not, may still be too tall. May still be I know there's a little lip you have to get past on the brackets. You have to push it up. Pull it. So we still have. There's a little clip, a zip tie clip, that's on the uh, gas line. You can either unplug the lines that go to it, or unplug it. They're kind of a pain. You'll see them in there. Indeed. So there it is. So the only two pieces that we're going to change on this is the spring solenoid, which this just adjusts the pressure because uh, propane operates at about uh, half a PSI, whereas natural gas is quarter PSI. And the orifice, 
I'm gonna change it to a smaller orifice because propane is 10 oh. times the volume as natural. You can change these pretty easy with just a flathead. On most furnaces, uh, you actually have to take out the spring that's in here. There's a plastic piece with a spring underneath it. With this, all you have to do is add this to it. Which makes it easy because you don't have to count the, min the number of rotations. come with a little sticker that you can put on it to signify as it's been converted. <coughs> I guess you put that right on the diaphragm. Just so that anybody that works on it in the future knows. And another sticker that you put around the back of the on the name plate. And that's pretty much it. And go back in. And I'm going to push it partially in. Then I'm going to connect these so I still have a little bit of room. Maybe. Maybe not. That's good. Let me just look in there and verify that they're connected. Beautiful. Then fish the gas line through its spot. At the same time, line that up. Orifice for the Venturi. And it drops down and we're ready to put the screws back in. Could make this easier, but I guess it could be harder also. The hardest part for me was there was no videos. The instructions that it came with were for a different dryer that, that disassembles completely different. So I just went in blind and it, how long did it take me, an hour? Yeah. <laughs> About an hour. At least an hour for the first one. This is the second one. So then put our Molex plugs back on.